Hey, Rose. How are you today, dear? Hey, Mom. I'm here. How are you? Oh, that doesn't sound very promising. I don't want to pick you up from the airport or grouchy next week. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll try to cheer up by then. Oh, well, you know what I mean. What's wrong? Is it your father again? Well, who else could it possibly be? Ugh, can I just stay in Washington with you this time? Like, forever? You're 17, dear. You'll graduate next year. We're almost there. Don't worry about him. Soon enough, you'll be able to come live with me or whatever you want. Yeah, but that's a whole school year from now. And my senior year. It's supposed to be one of the greatest years of my life, and I'm stuck spending it living with my jerk of a dad. Oh, God. Every time I hear that, I still feel guilty. I'm so sorry I'm married to that buffoon. I'm so sorry that I moved across the country and left you with him. You had to, Mom. You couldn't help being transferred. You had to work. Yeah, well, I suppose I do, yes. Unfortunately, I'm not retired yet. Well, I understand. You don't have to torture yourself. I was the one that didn't want to move with you. I just wanted to finish school at my own high school. It's not the school. It's my friends. I know it is, dear. I just... I knew the divorce would be hard for you, but I didn't think I had to move. I just... I miss you so much. I miss you too, Mom. But after school, I can come out there and live. I'll go to school there and we can finally be a family again. Our family. Without him. Without Charlie. I hope that you don't let him hear you call him Charlie. He'd flip out, I'm sure. Oh, no. For him, it's always Daddy. He insists on it, actually. What a creep. He always was. A charmer, but a creep. Well, most charmers are when you get down to it. He wasn't always such a jerk. I just want you to know that. He wasn't like that when I married him. Well, I would assume not. Otherwise, you wouldn't have married him. I don't know, dear. It does seem to be a trait of young girls. Dating absolute jerks. Well, I guess I wouldn't know anything about that either. Hey, you'll find a boyfriend, honey. Don't worry about that. You're in high school. Believe me, it would be nothing but a distraction anyway. I'd love to have a distraction, though. Some distractions are better than others, dear. I got distracted by your father and ended up marrying him. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think I need to be that distracted. Dear... I would hope not. No one does. So, when did he really start to change, do you think? Oh, gosh. I'd say probably when you were around 10. Not that I had anything to do with it. Well, I would hope not. It's not that he couldn't just, like, not handle having a girl go through puberty on his watch? Oh, dear. No, honey. It was his job, I believe. Really? At the firm? Why? Well, being a lawyer isn't easy, you know? Oh, but I thought he loved his job. He's a local hero prosecutor and all, blah blah. A justice-seeking superhero, self-righteous in every regard. The problem is, he ended up prosecuting his family too, right? Well, maybe he should have been a judge, but anyway, it's not like he was only sending guilty people to jail all the time, you know? Oh. But he had to do it. It was his job. If there was any evidence he used, he used it. But it wore on him, one case in particular. What? And which one? Well, there was a man by the name of Kay Smith, a young black man. He was accused of killing his wife, and there was actually a lot of evidence to point towards him. But your father always had his suspicions. After Jones was tried and convicted, he was sentenced to life. And your dad, well, he never said exactly. But I think he may have found something. Something... something like what? Well, some sort of evidence, some sort of proof that the man was innocent. But what did he do about it? He didn't do anything? No, he didn't. I mean, 
I don't know what it was. He wouldn't tell me. God, that is all so strange. And that's when he changed? Yes. It was like his decision to ignore whatever that gave him permission to make other bad choices. And you know how it goes. One usually follows another. And then you left him? And then it was the distance, and the coldness, and finally the cruelty. That's when I left him. Ugh. And now you're stuck with him again. Well, it only has been for... Uh... Uh, how long has it been now? Well, two years since I was transferred. And one year left. But only four left until you come and see me for a whole summer. And I seriously cannot wait, Mom. Rose, where are you? Oh, hey Charlie. I'm just at the gym. Just got out of my kickboxing class. Why do you do that? You're only 17. And don't call me Charlie. I'm your father for God's sake. I just like the name Charlie. It has a nice ring to it. Maybe you should have named me something like that. What's close to Charlie that's female though? Nothing. Oh, uh, well, I guess nothing. Well, anyway, I'm home and I'm hungry and I'm sitting here with a beer but no dinner. Uh, yeah, so what? Well, why is that? Why is that happening to me? I've been working all day to support you and I don't have dinner? What, I need to make all of your dinners now? I only did it a couple of times, and now I'm doing it every night? I have a life, you know. Oh, please. You're 17. What kind of a life could you possibly have? Going to Sephora to shop for eyeliner? Uh, I'm way busier than you. Have you noticed that I had a 4.0 GPA last quarter? Now, what good is a 4-point GPS when I don't have any dinner? GPA. What? Whatever, smartass. Well, when are you going to be home already? I just need to take a shower and change. What? You actually use the locker rooms there for that? Uh, yeah. Why not? That's disgusting. Those showers are a total cesspool of filth and infection. Um, have you taken a look at your shower recently? What are you talking about? My shower is fine. Your shower looks like the next coronavirus could leak from it. Whatever, whatever, Rose. Just don't get an athlete's food and then bring it home to me. I think it would be the other way around. That's why I shower at the gym now. Fine, go ahead and shower with the old ladies from the water aerobics class. See if I care. You know, Charlie, you are a lawyer. You can afford to hire a housekeeper. Oh yeah? Really? You think? With your college education I have to be saving for? Do you know how much that's going to cost me? Um, I don't know. I didn't know you were going to be contributing to the event. Well, your mother and I haven't really discussed it yet, but I do plan on it. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe, if you get home and make me dinner. And pick up a six-pack and some scratch-offs too, on your way home. Oh, now I have an errand to run? Why should I do any of this considering how you're speaking to me right now? Speaking to your daughter! Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm just stressed out from work. It was an awful day. Well, that's no excuse to take it out on me. I said I was sorry. Well, what happened? Just this. This case is stressing me out. What is it? You don't want to hear about it. Yes, I do. If talking about it will maybe stop you from being a jerk, I'm all ears. It's this comeback, a total monster. He killed his own kid, his son. Oh my god, how? He shot him. How else do you die in this country? It was some dispute over a woman. 
just awful. Over a woman? They were both with the same one? Attempting to be. The son was trying to hit on his new stepmom and it didn't go over so well. Um, wow. Anyway, it's a real nasty business, so I'm on edge. So, can you please just cut me some slack today and do what I ask? I'm going to be on my own all summer. Now, I'm sure that's a great vacation for you away from me. But I actually rely on you for stuff too, you know. Wow, so sorry that you won't have a woman to take care of you for two and a half months. Well, let me explain something to you, young lady. Oh, please, enlighten me, old man. A man expects a woman to take care of certain needs for him. Ew, gross! No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what are you talking about? I'm talking about cooking, cleaning, you know, minding the house. Charlie, you're joking, right? You're putting me on? Why? What do you mean? What do you think this is? The 1950s? It's not like that anymore. Oh, I see. So you're like your mother now, one of these feminist types. You don't have to be a feminist type to see that as a long outdated archetype. And even your mother would tell you to listen to your father, so just do what I'm asking, okay? You mean do what you're telling? Whatever, same thing. Fine, fine, sure, father. Your wish is my command. Good, I would appreciate that very much. Now, what would the patriarchal highness like for dinner? You know what? Just pick up some KFC on the way home. I'm too hungry to wait for you now. Original or extra crispy? Oh, come on, Rose. Extra crispy is the only way to go when it comes to fried chicken. Duh. And don't you dare forget the six-pack. We gotta have some ice-cold brewskis to wash it all down. Just grab whatever's on sale and make sure it's not one of those fancy light beers. We need the real deal. Um, Charlie, I hate to break it to you, but I'm only 17. How in the world am I gonna be able to buy beer? They'll card me for sure. Oh, don't worry about it, Rose. We'll figure it out. There's this awesome drive through just down the street. You just pull up and they'll hook you up. Trust me. And here's the secret sauce. When you get there, tell Jake that it's for me. He knows me like the back of his hand. I'm practically a regular there, showing up every single day. He won't even bat an eye. Seriously? You think that'll work? I mean, I don't want to get in trouble. What if they catch me? Come on, Rose. You worry too much. I've done this a million times before. Jake's a cool guy. He won't say a word. Besides, your dad is the best damn prosecutor this town has ever seen. Trust me, nobody's gonna mess with you. You're practically untouchable. Alright, if you say so, Charlie. But it still feels a little shady. I hope this doesn't come back to bite us. Nah, what on earth are you thinking about? Your father is the best damn prosecutor this town has ever seen. Okay then. Hey mom. Hello honey, how is it going? I'm just a couple more days till I get to see you. Um, yeah, well, that would be great if I could only, you know leave the state of Illinois. What? What are you talking about? I got arrested. What? What do you mean you got arrested? I'm fine. I'm out. Charlie posted my bail. Well, what happened? 
Surely you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I didn't, but... How would you know? Why would you automatically assume that I was innocent? Oh, well... Come on, honey. Do you really expect me to believe that you would be arrested for something you actually did? I mean, you're a bit of a goody two-shoes, no offense. That's how I raise you and I'm glad for it. Well, whatever. The point is that... Okay, actually, you know what? I did do it. Well, what is it already? I tried to buy beer. Oh, I wonder who that could have been for. Is that sarcastic? You know? So let me take a guess. Your father forced you to buy him beer and you got caught. Well, yeah, that's pretty much exactly it. How did you know? Because I know your father. And he's a man, or at least is now, who feels like he can skirt the law. Well, he thought the guy there would just hand it to me. But apparently, this guy was not Jake. Ah, uh, what an arrogant jackass. The fake Jake? No! Your father! I can't believe that he did this. Well, I don't think I'll be able to spend this summer with you now that I'll have to go to court at some point. Oh, it can't be that serious. You aren't allowed to leave the state? That's madness. Well, that's what Dad said. I'm not supposed to leave until the first court date. And when is that? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? That's practically your whole summer. Not to mention how this is going to affect me getting into colleges. Now I have a record, Mom. Well, I'm sure your father will find you the best lawyer imaginable. Don't worry, dear. It'll be fine. But now I'm stuck here in the house with him all summer. I was so looking forward to this. I mean, the plane leaves Monday, for crying out loud. And now if I leave, I'm going to be... arrested by federal marshals when I die bored or something. Well, I'm going to call your father immediately and talk to him about this. No, don't bother. He's working. Working? His daughter just got arrested and it was his fault. He said he had to. He's at the office. But it's... what? O'clocker time? Yep. And he's been doing that a lot lately. Why do you think he's up to something? I don't know. Who can ever tell him? I certainly never could. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I guess we'll just have to see what happens now. How can you be so positive about this whole thing? I took half an Ativan after I got back from the police station. Be careful, honey. But I understand it. I think I need one now, too. I was kidding, Mom. Oh, well, okay then. Well, I'm going to take one anyway. Ugh, I can't believe that this is happening to me. What if my friends find out? Don't tell anyone, okay? They won't. We'll keep it between us. So did your father clear it up with the cops and tell them that he had sent you there? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, what do you mean you don't think so? He didn't tell you? Well, no. I mean, he just came to the police station and picked me up. I just came out into the lobby and he was sitting there. I never saw him talking to anybody. Wait. So you don't even know if he's hanging you out to dry? Oh my god. It didn't even occur to me. Honey, he's a prosecutor. If he tells them that he sent his daughter into a drive through to buy him booze, he's finished. Well, then he must not have spilled the beans to them, right? Otherwise, why on earth would I still be stuck dealing with this court mess? Well, my dear, it seems like you've hit the nail on the head there. I mean, seriously. He has the power to save me from all this trouble, but instead... He's choosing to throw me under the bus just to save his own skin, isn't he? Unfortunately, it certainly seems that way, sweetheart. Ugh, he's utterly despicable! I swear, I'm not going to let him get away with this. I'll find a way to make him pay. Oh, really now, dear? And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Remember, he's a seasoned prosecutor, and you're just a high school student. Hey, let's get one thing straight, Dara. I may be a high school student, but I'm no ordinary one. 
I'm a straight A honor roll kind of student, and I've got brains and determination. So don't underestimate me or my ability to fight back. I'll show him what I'm made of. So, Rose, I just got off the phone with that useless lawyer of yours. Oh yeah, what's going on? Don't play dumb with me. I know you heard. I know he called you too. Yeah, pretty interesting how things work out, huh? So, what do you know? I know everything. Let's just put it that way. And what's everything? I need to know. I know that actually was your buddy Jake who sold me the beer. Well, yeah, and? And apparently he's, like, in recovery now? The 12 steps? And now he's making amends? And one of those is making things right with me. Well, go ahead. He called me, Jake did. I have no idea how he got my number, but... He apologized for going along with my father's plan to set me up. Oh, so that was his story, huh? And it's apparently what he told the cops, too. Wait, he... told the police, too? The lawyer said he just told them that he lied about you trying to buy it. Um, no, Dad. He told them the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He told the cops that I told him to do it. That's why they're dropping the charges? I expect that you'll be hearing from your own lawyer very soon. Ah, damn it, Jake. Why'd you have to get sober? Why did you do it, Charlie? How could you? You're my father. Or supposedly you think you are. Not anymore, you're not. Because I needed you home this summer, that's why. I can't take care of everything without you, Rose. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it because I'm on the first flight to Seattle tomorrow morning. And I'm staying there. But, but what about school? What about all your friends back here? I thought about that, and I figured we're all going separate ways in a year anyway. Why just delay the inevitable? So you're just going to let your father lose his license to practice law? To let his whole reputation be ruined? Hey, you did that to yourself. I had nothing to do with that. Well, how am I going to be able to send you to college if I can't pay for it then? Huh? Did you ever think of that, genius? Come on, Charlie. We both know that Mom was going to be paying for my education anyway. Well, she certainly will be now. And everything else for that matter. Charlie, I'm sorry that you aren't prepared to be a father to me. I'm sorry that something happened to you. What do you... What do you mean something happened? Mom told me. Some of these cases are from the past. They really messed you up, huh? Well, you have to do what you have to do. No one said the law is a clean business. Well, it looks like you're going to be on the other side of that now. My own daughter betraying me. Bye, Charlie. But, but wait, honey, come on. Tell them this is all just a big misunderstanding. You have to. I didn't know that stuff was beer. I thought it was a, uh, I don't know, ginger beer. Stop your excuses. There's no way you could escape. Look at you now. Just a pathetic old man. <laughs> the day after that crazy incident, I hopped on a plane and jetted off to Seattle ready for some new adventures and a change of scenery. Little did I know that while I was busy exploring my new surroundings, Charlie was about to face a knock on his office door that would turn his world upside down. Yep, you guessed it, he got arrested. Turns out, Charlie's shady practices caught up with him. 
and the law finally caught wind of his misdeeds. He ended up with probation. But the real kicker? He lost his precious license to practice law. Ouch! Talk about a major blow to his ego. But wait, it gets even crazier. During the ensuing investigation, they dug up some seriously damning evidence. It turned out that Charlie had been falsifying records left and right for years, potentially ruining the lives of countless innocent men and women. Can you believe that? It's like something out of a wild crime drama. In the midst of all this chaos, I made a decision. I figured it was time to head back home and finish up my senior year at good old reliable high school. Living with my aunt, I powered through and managed to graduate with honors. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. But here's the real twist. I wasn't about to let Charlie's disgraceful actions deter me. Nope, I decided to take matters into my own hands. When it came time to choose a college, I set my sights on Seattle University. And you know what? I made a bold choice. I enrolled to study law. Yep, you heard that right. I was ready to dive headfirst into the world of justice and legality. Maybe it was the whole ordeal with Charlie that fueled my fire, or maybe it was just a natural path for me. Either way, I was determined to make a difference and ensure that justice prevailed. So there you have it, my wild journey from that crazy summer to pursuing a law degree at Seattle University. Who knows what twists and turns lie ahead, but one thing's for sure, I'm ready to take on the challenge and fight for what's right. <laughs>